Hi everyone, student Dr. Siddiqui here. Today we're going to be talking about the anatomy of the upper limbs. We're going to start off taking a look at the muscles of the anterior compartment of the brachial region. These consist of the BBC, biceps brachii, brachialis, and coracobrachialis. We're going to take a look at biceps brachii first. This muscle consists of two heads, a long head and a short head. Taking a look at the long head, its point of origin is the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula, while the short head originates from the coracoid process. They both insert on the radial tuberosity, and their function is that they are strong flexor and supinators of the forearm. However, they're weak flexors of the shoulder. The long head originates from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula, while the short head originates from the coracoid process, which is a bony prominence of the scapula, looks like a beak. So next is the brachialis muscle. The point of origin for the brachialis muscle is the distal half of the anterior surface of the humerus. The brachialis inserts on the coronoid process and ulnar tuberosity. Its function is to flex the forearm in all positions. Next we're going to take a look at coracobrachialis. The point of origin for coracobrachialis is the tip of the coracoid process of the scapula and it inserts on the middle third of the medial surface of the humerus. Its function is to help flex and adduct the arm and this muscle plays an important role in resisting dislocation of the shoulder. Next we're going to take a look at the muscles of the posterior compartment of the brachial region. This muscle is called the triceps brachii. Tri means three, so there are three heads, the long head, lateral head, and medial head. We're going to take a look at the long head first. The point of origin for the long head is the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. It inserts on the proximal end of the electronon of the ulna and the fascia of the forearm. This muscle is the chief extensor of the forearm. The long head resists dislocation of the humerus. This muscle is especially important during adduction. Taking a look at the lateral medial heads, we notice that the point of origin for the lateral head is the posterior surface of the humerus just superior to the radial groove, while the medial head originates from the posterior surface of the humerus, inferior to the radial groove. The point of insertion is the same as the long head, which is at the end of the olecranon, and the function is the same, and they all work together and work as an uh, extensor of the forearm. So it's important to know what innervates the brachial muscles. The anterior brachial muscles are innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve, while the posterior brachial muscles are innervated by the radial nerve. So in summary, the anterior brachial region consists of the BBC, biceps brachii, brachialis, and coracobrachialis, and all three are innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve. While on the other hand, the posterior brachial region consists of the triceps brachii, and this is innervated by the radial nerve. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. Please tune in for more great videos. Today we're going to be talking about the upper limb anatomy. So we're going to take a look at, let's see, sorry, sorry, I'm not ready yet, hold on, hold on, hold on.